All right, welcome back fellow Shopify entrepreneur. I just wanted to do this quick little tutorial video on Shopify notifications and why they may not be sending. I've run multiple Shopify stores over the years and I currently do and I remember when I first started, I just couldn't figure out these notifications. I understand how you're feeling when you're starting a new Shopify store, a million things that can go wrong and you just might not understand it. So here's a quick little tutorial on some of my experiences with this that can hopefully help you as well. So let's get started. So the first thing we do is we navigate, this is just a test store, so don't worry about all the random information here. But if we navigate to our settings, we can go to our notifications tab. So the notifications tab has nothing to do with notifications sent to you. Notifications sent to you are here in the top right corner. So if anything that goes wrong or you're talking to support and they email you back or anything, you'll see your little red box here and this is messages sent to you. Now, notifications are messages mostly sent to the customer. Obviously a lot of these can go to you as well, but these are email notifications sent to the customer. At the very top here, we can see the sender email. This is the email your store uses to send emails to your customers. So obviously it has to be a real customer and you have to confirm your access to this email and it actually works. But it's very common, I do this in all my stores, to have your email that you log into and create the Shopify account for and the sender email, email that people can get in touch with, the, the email that is the email connected to the contact page on your store to be different emails. The email that you put in your policies, for example, you don't want that to be maybe a highly sensitive email address that you use to set up your online store. So using different email addresses for these things like your policies and your login and your notifications more specifically is really important. Now, if we scroll down the list here, these are the automatic emails that are sent by Shopify to your customers. You'll notice some of these have checkboxes that can be enabled or disabled because most of these are automatic emails that are sent automatically and they can't be disabled. But I remember when I first started, I just couldn't understand why my emails, my notifications were not sending to my customers. People were ordering things and I thought they were going through okay until I realized they weren't. So this is a very important aspect. And if you notice, if you've been noticing this spot of the page, you have to make sure that your email is verified by sending a verification to the email address here, and then your order notifications can go to your customer. If you set this up, even if your email here is the same email as the email you use for your store that you log into, it will still not be verified. So when you log in, you have to obviously verify your email when you first start your store, and then you have to verify it again in your notifications segment right here. The verified will change to verified once you send the verification, and then your customers will start receiving all of these beautiful automatic emails that do a whole variety of things. You can, of course, click onto any one of those automatic emails and it'll tell you that this order confirmation email, for example, is sent automatically to the customer after they place their order. These are the same instructions in the previous screen. And then you can scroll down the email and you can view what it looks like. In the top right corner here, we have the option to send a test and that'll be sent to the email on the next screen or you can edit your code. Code is the code used to generate how this email looks. And I've run multiple Shopify stores over the year. I don't know very much about coding. I've never clicked this button, but if you wanted to adjust what these say, you can use the Shopify email app. This is the Shopify email app. I did a video back in the day on the most important Shopify apps that are all free that are used to get started. You can check out my channel for that. But this is the Shopify email app. It's free to install. Additional charges may apply because if you send a certain amount of emails over a certain limit, it tells you here that there's additional fees. But anyway, I digress. So when you start your Shopify store, remember, very okay to have a different email here than the email you use to log into your account. You just have to create another email and then make sure you verify it. Otherwise, your email notifications won't be sent. And if you don't verify this, you might not even know that your email notifications are not being sent. So just make sure that once you start your store, you confirm your email in your store details to open your Shopify account, but then you have to re-verify another sender email address because this can be very different right here by sending a test notification and then your emails will go out. You can send a test and everything will be good. Just wanted to make this quick little video to help fellow Shopify entrepreneurs. I just like helping fellow Shopify entrepreneurs because I know how you feel. It could be very overwhelming to start a Shopify store. There's a lot of things you got to do. 
Just take it one step at a time. And if you want to join a community of fellow Shopify entrepreneurs, consider subscribing, joining the channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.